thank you so much for joining me for my very first episode of my podcast. My name is Kay and I am coming to you from Havelock, North Carolina, where I live with my husband and our two sons. And this will be a knitting podcast, of course, probably some crochet thrown in there too. I learned how to crochet first as a child. I just basically did super long chains for a very long time. <laughs> I probably could have won Guinness Book of World Records or something because it was crazy. So there will definitely be knitting, probably some crocheting, maybe some cross stitching. I do enjoy cross stitching. I don't do it as much though. I, I have found that knitting really takes up all of my crafting time. I love it. I'm obsessed. So it's usually knitting all the time. Very rarely you might see some sewing. Sewing, I don't have the patience for sewing. I don't know what it is. I, I get out my sewing machine and I'm ready to go and it just goes downhill usually. I just get, I don't know, I don't have the patience. I get frustrated very easy with sewing, which is strange for me because I don't get like that usually with knitting or anything else, just with sewing. I don't know why. I'm definitely a beginner when it comes to sewing. So that may have something to do with it. And I don't really have anyone that I've ever known local to me that could teach me more about sewing. So I definitely get very, very frustrated. <laughs> so you will definitely see lots of knitting and yarny fun. And let's just jump right in with whips. I've got three, yes, three whips that I'm gonna show you today. And the first one we will start with is my Cozy Memories blanket. And this is being housed just in a 31 basket. I've had this for years and it's pretty pitiful inside right now. I don't have a lot of minis, but hopefully it'll fill up. That's why I thought go big, because I'm, I'm hoping to fill it up, guys. I'm getting more minis as I go along and I do more projects. Um, I've been knitting for a while, I just don't, fingering weight minis, I guess I, I didn't really use fingering weight a lot. Socks are fairly new to me, and so is fingering weight, but I've bought some mini sets. I've just acquired some from socks that I've made, obviously, so I'm getting there. Let's see. This is my Cozy Memories blanket. Oh, I love it. It's so much fun, guys, and I'm using Kemper Ray's. The Coziest Memory, I believe is the name of it, her pattern. Um, the only change I did is I only cast on 40, so it's a 20 by 20 square. And I'm using a US 2 point, or no, 2.5 millimeter. That's what I'm using, I'm not sure what the US is, number is for that. But a 2.5 millimeter, and it's just super fun. I love it. I haven't been working on it for very long, a few weeks maybe, just been adding squares here and there. And I'm sorry, but I will never be someone who won't be able to remember all of the colorways. I just won't. I, I just don't have that kind of memory space, I guess. I don't know. I can never remember. I do remember what they were used for, though. Like this one um, in this corner was the very first sock that I ever did. I made it for my youngest son, Wyatt. I'm so glad I still had some of that to put in there. That was the first square I did. Um, just special because, you know, it was for my baby and... Well, he's not really a baby. He's seven, but that was for him. He's still my baby. <laughs> and let's see, this one and this one were from a mini set from the Yarn at Home Mom. I actually have that package here. They were 25 yard minis, a Gilmore Girls mini skein set part three. And she's fun. She does these, these sets. They're just so fun. I just, I don't know. I love them. They're kind of messy since they've been in my basket. And I've used two. But they're just super fun. And let's see. This one is Lolo Did It. And I believe it's Hello Gorgeous. And let's see. I've got another Lolo. Here we go. This gray is Lolo Did It in... I'm totally blanking on the name. Coal Miner's Daughter. How could I forget that? Oh, I love Loretta Lynn. She's my favorite. I should have remembered that one. 
And let's see, this was from my Pure Joy shawl, which I will be showing you in FOs. My sock head hat. I should show that too, but it's all the way over there. And this was from a pair of socks that I did. This is Nitpick Stroll. They're hand painted, I believe, but I cannot remember the colorway name. This was Patton's Croy. Again, I don't remember the colorway. Sorry, guys. This is another pair of socks for my youngest, Wyatt. And this was Nitpick's Stroll, which you will be seeing in my FO as well. And I do know since I just finished, finished excuse me, a pair of socks with it, that it is Dove Heather. And that is my Cozy Memories blanket. I love it. And see my little Sucra Sucra miniatures? Hope I'm saying that right. I'm not butchering it. Green tea with lemon. Super fun. Her stuff is so cute. Cute little progress keeper. So that is one whip. And since I'm doing such, the squares are so small. They're only 20 by 20. I'm not using very much yarn. So I'm having some yarn left over from my squares. And I thought, what am I gonna do with that? You know, you're supposed to use up your scraps and the cozy memories, but I'm having some left. Obviously, you know, I can send them out in swaps or whatever. I'm gonna be sending some to my friend Jenny in West Virginia. But I saw two cows going on right now and I'm cow obsessed, as you will soon see. Two cows going on right now. And let me pull out, guys, I have show notes. I thought if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna jump right in and I'm gonna do it. So I got show notes. And it is being hosted by, there's a Punky Brewster cow for Scrappy Socks. That is being hosted by Amber of Simple Love Made and Kate Celine. And also a Monster Sock cow. And I'm sorry, I'm horrible. I did not write down who was hosting that. They're both Instagram only. And I'll put everything down here, hopefully. If I don't, I'm sorry, they'll be in the down bar. If I can't figure out how to edit and put it in here. My son, my oldest son is excited to help me edit though. He's, he's a tech kid, definitely. Okay, but anyways, this is from the Yarn at Home Mom Gilmer Girls mini skein set. This is what I had left after one square. I thought, what am I gonna do with these? The scrappy socks, y'all, scrappy socks. I, Oh, I really wanted to have it started last night so I could have it show as a whip, but I don't. But this will be started probably today. You kind of see, this is my leftovers. This is after I do a square on my blanket, I'm putting them in here. And some of them, I have a good bit left. Like that was my sock head hat. And I've got a good bit of that left. So obviously that's not gonna all go in a scrappy sock. I'll do some four rows maybe. Um, but yeah, and this is being housed. Let me zip it up and then I will show you. In my freckled whimsy bag, Red Riding Hood is so cute. And the wolf and grandma's house. I just love this bag. If you have not checked her out, her bags are great. So well made. And I love that she uses the YKK zippers. They're so bulky and sturdy. And you've got your little handle that you can take off. They're just super fun guys. And I believe this is her shawl satchel size. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry, but I believe that's what it is. And I got this, she did a pre-order for these and I missed the first thing she had put out with so many, but then she opened up more and I was so excited. I had to snag it. They're just too cute. So that will, that's a soon to be whip, I guess. Let's see, let's take a little sip. This is my my owl cup oh I love it I'm so ready for fall guys it's still it's in the 80s so we've cooled down some but the humidity in North Carolina guys oh my gosh but I love this I got this at Neaters and I'm not sure if they're everywhere they're kind of like a little cafe bakery type place they had them in Yuma Arizona and um, that's where I got this but I'm not sure if they have them everywhere but this was out last fall there and I just had to snag it because it's so cute but I am drinking tea and I actually brought it to show you guys because this is a new to me tea and I am tea company I've had um 
me just show you what it is first. It's from Plum Deluxe. They're out of Oregon. And it is Stargazer Mate Chai. And I love chai. And I love mate. So I saw this on their website and had to have it. And it's really yummy, guys. Super yummy. If you love chai, you will love it. You really can't. I don't get a mate kind of a taste with it. I just taste chai. It's delicious. And their shipping was very fast. And it was affordable, I thought. I think it was $7 for this. And I got this. And they had unbleached tea bags to put it in because I do not have an infuser. So I got some of those and then a little sample pack where they, you can put which ones you want, I believe, but I just let them pick. So I got some, some super fun ones. I'll have to show those, drink one next time and show you. But definitely check them out if you like tea. And let's see, next whip. Let's do some socks. So I made socks for my kids, my boys made some for me now that we live in North Carolina I have not made any for my husband he I've always teased like oh let me make you some socks you want some socks we lived in the desert he's like no it is hot I do not want hand knit socks no well we don't live in the desert anymore so I'm making him socks and he better wear them <laughs> You better <laughs> and these are being housed in my doctor who bag we are doctor who fans in this house and this the bag is from I'm not sure how you pronounce it it's p-o-k-d-e-j again I'll try to put it down here on Etsy she's out of Canada her bag is very well made guys she has a pretty long turnaround time I noticed um, but I think it was well worth it to wait. I think I waited over a month, two months maybe, but it was, it was worth it. And I got this from Mustache Yarns online. And I, I got this way before I got the bag just because I knew I had ordered the bag and I saw this and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have it. And it's perfect. And she also has needle cozies, DPN holders. I use them for both DPNs, that's what's in here now, and also circulars, when I'm using circulars. They obviously help so your stitches don't fall off. But if you have sharp needles, they can poke holes right through your project bags, guys. Protect your knitting and your bags with these. They're wonderful, I love them. I have so many now, but they're just, they're so fun. It's all just so fun. Okay, these, where is the pattern? Eric Socks. I am doing the Neville Socks by Erica Luter. Oh my gosh, guys, I will probably really butcher everything. Everything. And I'm sure everybody has probably seen these. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. And it's the same designer that did Hermione's Everyday Socks, which everyone has done. Such a fun pattern. So Neville sucks with, this is the yarn and I do have the tag. He picked this out of my stash. So he better like him since he picked the yarn. <laughs> just kidding. He'll like them just because I made them, right? And it is Baraco socks, 75% superwash wool and 25% nylon. And the colorway, of course they don't name them. I don't know why. Guys, names are so much more fun. The colorway is 1451. Not very exciting name anyways. And let's pull them out so you can see them. I'm doing these on nine inch circulars, guys. I do love them. If you haven't tried them, give them a try. Sorry, I'm tangled, I'm untangling here. But give them a try and decide. There are so many mixed reviews. People either love them or they hate them, I think. Socks fly on them. Totally fly. So there they are, little nine inch circulars. And these I just did cuff down, basic heel flap and gusset. And you can't see the pattern too well. Just stretch it out a little bit. 
but these are super fun and mindless. You kind of get, you have to watch the pattern, the first pattern repeat kind of, and then you can just kind of tell where you are. They're super fun. And this, if you have not used Brocco socks, um, it's very sturdy yarn. So it'll be great for his socks, I think, because he'll probably wear them to work and all of that with his boots. Yeah, they should hold up nicely, hopefully. But these are super fun. And like I said, give the nine inch circulars a try. If you haven't, they are fun. So that is those and my goal guys, and keep me accountable with my goals. I just wanna cast on all the things, but I'm oh, gonna reel that in a little bit because the whips I'm showing you today, this is not all the whips I have. I will not put out all that craziness just yet. <laughs> Wait till you get to, you get to like me a little bit better. <laughs> then I'll show you my craziness because there's a whole basket of whips over there. But these are just what I've worked on within the past week. So I thought I would start there, right? That's a good idea. So Neville sucks. And my goal is to have them done next podcast. Hold me accountable, guys. If I don't have them done, I don't show them as an FO next time. Say something. Hold me accountable. Okay, last whip that I will show you today. This is being housed in my Lone Larch Designs bag. And oh my goodness, guys, look at that. I I just love the Woodland Creatures bags. We have woods right behind us, right behind the camera. There's always squirrels and rabbits out there. We have not had any deer yet. I'm really hoping we do maybe this winter, hopefully. I know there's been a bear around here. Not since we've been here. I hope we don't see a bear. Deer, those are cute. Bears are cute, but not in my backyard. But her bag is so well made, guys. I love her fun little zipper pull, like a suede material. And it's just a very cushy kind of a bag. Very sturdy. And the inside is in these fun stripes. And she has an Etsy shop, Lone Larch Designs. And I'll try to put everything here. Super fun, you should check her out. She's out of Canada. And this is holding the project for the Canada Cow. I'm sure you guys have heard of that if you watch podcasts. There are so many podcasters that are hosting. I know the grocery girls are. You can go to their Ravelry group and it will give you all the details. And also I believe they have a list in there of the other people they're hosting, I think. But this shawl, what did I do? There it is. You fold it up. It is a paid for pattern on Ravelry and she is a Canadian designer. So hence the Canada cow. It is the Country Song Shawl by Gabrielle Knits. And I haven't decided if this is going to be one I keep for myself or give as a Christmas gift. I have someone in mind that might like it for Christmas, but I haven't decided yet. I've been a very selfish knitter lately, which is not like me. My Crafting is usually for gifts or for my kids, or I do a lot of donating things to hospitals, preemie hats, prayer shawls, different things. And so being a selfish knitter is new for me, but I just wanna knit all the things for myself. That's bad, isn't it? I feel very selfish. <laughs> but this, there's gonna be no good way to show this, guys. None. So, it is, this is the top and it is triangular. And I just love the collars and this yarn. Let me see if I can show you the detail down here. Should have tried to get more done. So I had more to show you on the lace part. There we go. You can kind of see it better there. Got some eyelets, super fun. And it's a pretty easy knit. It's, you know, once you get down here, you have the charts, of course, super easy. I haven't had any problems trying to follow them yet. Oh, I love those colors. And this is being done on a US 4, 3.5 millimeter. And these are, whoa. Caspian Knit Picks. That one doesn't want to stay up there apparently. 
and the interchangeables. I love them because I always have some kind of needle on hand and I do, I've, I'm starting to like the metal needles more, but I do still like the wood ones. Those were the first ones that I really used. And this yarn is also from a Canadian yarn dyer. So with that, I get two entries for the Canada cow, which is super exciting. Like I told you, I'm all about the cows. I'm kind of obsessed with them. This is Flock Fiber Studio in their Take a Hike sock base. And the collar is Dirty Whirlwind. And this base is 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon. 420 yards. Excuse my writing up there. <laughs> I was writing how many grams, so I could try to use all of the yarn that I bought. I bought two skeins because I knew I wanted to make a shawl with it. Let's read this then. And this is what I have left of the first one so far. And I still have this whole second one left. I'm wondering if I should have made the first part a little longer, done more so that I used up more yarn. Oh, we'll see. If not, I'm sure I'll find something to do. It would also make some great socks. Shorties, maybe. We'll see what we have left. We'll see. Or do more lace detail, maybe, on the end. We'll see. But yeah, that's, that's my last whip I have to show you. And this one also, guys, goals for next podcast. This, I want to have it done. <laughs> I don't know if I can. We'll see though. I really want to have this done because I have have other things I want to cast on and I've got to got to behave, right? Especially now that I've said it on here, I've really I've got to behave. Okay. Take a sip and then we will go into FOs. And I just have two FOs to show you today. The first one I'm going to start with, I entered into the Grocery Girls Hohi along. Guys, Hohi Locatelli. If you live under a rock and have not seen her patterns, go check them out. Oh my gosh, she is so much fun. She's a genius. She, there are so many of her patterns that I wanna do. It's crazy, so many. So this was my pure joy. And there's really not gonna be a good way to show this. I'll try to insert a picture that I have of it. my little my little thing I don't remember what it's called my little thing but here we go pure joy it's actually the back side yeah that's better okay and it was so much fun guys this was my first ever shawl and I did this on US 6 four millimeter and I loved it I love the short rows I don't think it ever gets boring when you have short rows like that and the the color changes oh it's so much fun and it's just so gorgeous I love it and I definitely think this is going to be a Christmas present <sighs> I do love it though <laughs> I just want to keep all the things for myself but that it's probably going to be a Christmas present. And the yarn that I used, I got it a local, to me, kind of, it's about 40 minutes away, yarn store. And it is Kismet, I believe that's how you say it, Fiberworks. And I love this yarn, guys. It's super soft. I love the collars. And one of the collars was Concord and one was Cypress. And this, they were both in their simple sock base. 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. Each skein has 463 yards. So very generous skeins. And I love it. I honestly, I love purple and I love green, but I do not know that I would have put those two together I don't know if I would have walked in and been like, I want a purple and I want a green, but these were sitting beside each other in a basket. I had actually already picked out a purple and a gray 
to do the pure joy when I was in there and I had it in my hand walking around you know just browsing like you do and these two were beside each other in a basket gorgeous like I love these two colors together they are so gorgeous oh I just love it so yeah pure joy and it was a pure joy to make I loved it I would recommend it for anyone if it's your first shawl go do pure joy because it was great okay last fo that I will show you I did this was these are a birthday present I won't say who they're for I don't think that she will watch but just in case I'm not gonna say she'll probably see it no they're for her but I did the pebbles socks by Mina Phillip from her beyond vanilla sock patterns and I'm sure everybody knows about those because Mina is amazing and her patterns are wonderful and these the pebble socks are just a super easy mindless TV watching knit night knit morning like I have here knit morning um, when you're sitting talking with your pals super easy knit and I did these toe up magic loop and I love toe up guys I think that might be my new thing and fish lips kiss heel I was so intimidated to try this I had heard people say it was 16 pages long I thought 16 pages for a heel oh no way I'm not trying that I won't be able to do it so easy guys try it it was super 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 easy and fast I found that these socks I don't know why but they flew they really really flew I did them like I said toe up but I also did them tandem I did the toe of one the toe of the other half the foot of one half the foot of the other and so forth and they just flew they honestly just flew and if they were my size I would keep them because I love them totally love them but the recipient's foot is quite a bit smaller than mine I have big feet so Sadly for me, luckily for her, they don't fit me. And the yarn that I used, I used Knit Pick Stroll Fingering, and it is 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. And the gray is Dove Heather. That's the one that was in my Cozy Memories blanket. And the purple is Duchess Heather. And guys, if you have not used Knit Picks Stroll or any Knit Picks yarn, all the ones that I've used from them, they're amazing. Sorry, there was a little earthquake. I bumped the tripod. Um, they're amazing. And the price, Knit Picks has amazing prices, guys. Very affordable. And I'm probably going to be placing an order for probably this gray, a few things of this and some of the other grays. Just kind of basic collars that will match a lot of things because I'm really liking doing the cuffs, heels, and toes and contrasting collars. It's just super fun. It gives a little something, a little twist, a little something different. So I'm probably gonna be placing an order for some of those. And let's see, was that all? Oh, those will be for a cow as well. Mina is doing a Beyond Vanilla cow. And let's see. If I wrote down anything about that she it's on her Ravelry group so you can go check that out and it's any of her beyond vanilla patterns her the older ones and then the new ones that she just released you can do any of those and enter those into her knit along so that's fun because we all love knit alongs but guys really knit alongs I think keep me focused on getting something done and it's fun to go into the threads and just see all the different projects and get different ideas and interact with other knitters. I just love knit alongs. I really do. Okay. Oh, and for those, I used Addy Sock Rockets US 1 2.25 millimeter. I think I did forget to say that. So that is it for FOs. That's kind of my most recent ones. I did finish a sock head hat. Maybe I'll show that next time it's over, over by my chair. And let's see, let's go into acquisitions because I have a few. 
Okay, the first one, maybe I should save this one for last, but I won't because I've been so excited about it. Hocus Pocus, favorite Halloween movie ever. I love it. My kids love it. I watched it as a kid, I over and over. We loved it. It was on direct TV or something at the time. And I remember my dad buying it and we just watched it over and over and over. Now my kids love it and I still love to watch it. My youngest is kind of scared of it. He gets a little, gets a little scared. So we have to watch it in the daytime with him. But it's just fun. It's a family movie. If you have not seen it, I'm sure everybody has. Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker. You cannot go wrong with this movie for Halloween, especially if you have kids. And even if you don't have kids, because if I didn't have kids, I would still watch it. But I'm sure you know where I'm going with Hocus Pocus if you watch podcasts. Guys, I got Winnie Sanderson. And oh, look at those collars. This lighting in here is perfect. This is showing exactly what this looks like. It is gorgeous. So gorgeous. And of course, Legacy Fiber Arts, Sue and Chelsea. If you have not heard of Legacy Knits podcast, run and go check them out. Sue and Chelsea are hilarious. I love watching the mother-daughter interaction. They're just so much fun. I'm just gonna hold this here like Sue does just because it's gorgeous. So pretty. This is on their Steel Toes base. It is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon, 463 yards. So very generous skein. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm thinking shawl, but I don't have a pattern in mind. So if you can recommend a pattern that would showcase this gorgeous yarn, let me know. Cause I'm thinking shawl. I just, oh, I love those colors. It's perfect for fall. We'll just stare at it a little bit more. It is so pretty. But these, guys, I think they sold out in eight minutes this last time. I kind of watched to see when they would sell out. The first one I missed, we were in Beaufort, which is about 30 minutes away maybe at a pirate invasion, pirate festival type thing with the kids. And I just forgot. And by the time I remembered to check, we were at lunch and they were already sold out. I thought, well, my goodness, I. I am so happy for them, you know, but I just didn't think that they would sell out that fast, especially since it was their first update, but they sold out so fast. So when they announced they were doing a second one and that it would be the last time they would have the Hocus Pocus yarns for this fall season, I couldn't miss it. I would have cried, I think, if I missed it or if I didn't get Winnie and then she sold out so fast because I watched and I got it. I We were walking out the door to go to the flea market I'm on my phone, refreshing, refreshing, cannot miss it. And I didn't, oh, I was so excited. And I was like jumping up and down in the car and hitting Eric on the shoulder. And I think he thought I'd lost my mind, but <laughs> it is just so gorgeous. So yeah, if you have a shawl pattern that would just take 463 yards or less, or I guess I could find some colors to try to add in with it, let me know because I'm so excited to use it. And they are having a cow right now, and I should have looked. I just happened to think of it. Um, it might be a Hocus Pocus cow, maybe. Um, but go check out the Ravelry group and see, because I know you're supposed to post a picture of you watching the movie and then knitting with their yarn, too, if you have it. I'm bad, guys. I should have looked. I just happened to think of it. But yeah, check them out. They're working on their Christmas colorways right now and I cannot wait to see what they come up with. It's gonna be super exciting. And let's see, other acquisitions. This yarn came from my friend Becca. We did a swap. I kind of messed around and did some project bags. Like I said, I have no patience for sewing. I am definitely a beginner sewer. You will not be seeing project bags from me on Etsy or anywhere for sale because I just don't enjoy sewing that much. But I did some project bags and sent one to my friend Jenny for her birthday and Becca 
asked me if I would be interested in doing a swap, that she would send me some local to her yarn and I sent her a bag. So I met Becca in Arizona at the knitting group that I started there and our going away parties little dinner was the same night because she left before or after. It was right around the same time that we left to come to North Carolina. So she is now in New Mexico. So she sent me this yarn and the colorway is Orchard. And guys, it is just, she did a great job picking this out because I had no idea what she was getting. So I was so excited to get this. She, I knew she was going to pick out sock weight, but I told her, I love all colors. Go for it. Pick whatever. And just look at that green. Oh, it's gorgeous. Definitely fall apples, apple picking. Oh my gosh. So gorgeous. And this is Zia Wools, I think is how you would say that. It is 75% Superwash Corydale and 25% nylon, 434 yards. And I love it. And I've never used Corydale and she did that on purpose. She, she picked one that she thought, oh, I've never used this before. I would love to use this. Perfect. Because I've never used Corydale and I'm very excited. It's very plump and squishy. When I opened it, I thought, oh my gosh, how many yards are in there? But it's just a regular skein of yarn. It's just so squishy. I love it. And not sure if they have a website. Let me show the back of this. It, um, no, gives a phone number and an email. I guess you could Google. I'm not sure if they have a website or not. But there is the contact information on the back of their card. And so that was super fun. I love getting that kind of stuff. Let's see. I have, yes, oh, I thought I forgot to bring them over. Last acquisition. The other yarn store, I've said that we have one about 40 minutes away one way. I have one 40 minutes away the other way in New Bern, North Carolina called Weaver's Web. And I went up, we went to New Bern on Saturday to kind of look around and just mosey around. We had lunch. The kids had some ice cream afterwards. I wanted to stop at the yarn store because Addie is having a deal and I should have looked it up and wrote down some notes to know more detail on it. But you buy three, I believe it has to be circular needles, three Addy circular needles from your local yarn store. I do know that it has to be your local yarn store. Keep the receipt. You can go to the Addy website, print off a form and send it in with the receipt. And you get to pick a needle of your choice to get for free. So if you love Addy needles, go do that. Go buy some. It has to be your local yarn store though. So hopefully you have one if you don't. I'm sorry, it's kind of a teaser. But I, since I'm loving the Magic Loop tandem, I decided to go ahead and buy a few more sets that I can use for socks. And I usually use a US 1 2.25 millimeter. That's kind of my go-to. These, she was out of them. And she's in the process of closing, so I don't think she's getting any more shipments in. So I just went with a 2.5, 32-inch cable, and we will cross our fingers that it works. So I got these, and I also got these, same size, 2.5 millimeter, 32-inch cable, and I'm excited to use these. I'm going, I'm going to use them probably today. I'm going to cast on the scrappy socks with these. I think that'll be fun. So that is all I have for acquisitions. I want to try to do every week to mention a different podcast. One that's kind of one I've watched for a while and one that's new to me. So Naughty Nitwits. I've been watching them for a while and they are hilarious. There are a few that I've watched and then I have to I'll watch their most recent and then I have to go back from the beginning and just watch them all. And that was one of them. Michelle and Leslie, they are so, so funny. I'm sure you've probably heard of them, but if you have not, give them a try. Go search Naughty Nitwits, check them out. They are super funny. They pick a new word every week, kind of a 
hip word and try to use it in the podcast. Oh my gosh, they're so funny. I've I've never heard of any of the words that they pick out of their little deck of cards, but it is so funny. They're just super fun and they're always working on fun things. And Michelle has an obsession with project bags, which I can totally relate to, although I have nowhere near the amount that Michelle has, but you should definitely check them out. And one that's new to me is her name is Jenny and her podcast is Lucky Jenny Knits. She actually, I just found her yesterday. She followed me on Instagram, I think it was Saturday evening, sometime Saturday maybe, and I saw that she had a podcast. So yesterday, Eric took the boys fishing and I thought, well, I'm going to watch a podcast, do some knitting. So I, I got on there and checked out her podcast. She only has five episodes so far, so she's fairly new and she's so fun, guys. I liked her so much. I watched the fifth one and then I went back and watched the first four. All, yesterday afternoon while they were fishing. I just loved, loved her. She's in Virginia, I believe around Richmond, she said. So she's fairly close to where I am, probably about four hours away. But you should definitely check her out. And like I said, she's new and I kind of really like them. Um, so that is my little podcast love this week. Be sure to check out the Naughty Knitwits and Lucky Jenny Knits. And that's pretty much all I have. I'll tell you guys a little bit about what's gonna be coming up this next week in, in my little corner of the world. We've got kind of a busy week with birthdays. September just seems to be crazy for birthdays all around. Everybody seems to have birthdays in September. But in our house, we have two coming up in the next week. My 30th birthday is this Thursday, September 15th big 3-0 and guys I'm really not that phased I I keep waiting watch I say this and Thursday I'll just panic like oh my gosh I'm 30 I'm not phased I have friends and family that are like oh 30 I panicked at 30 no I don't know I'm just I feel like I'm in such a good place in my life you know we just moved here we're back on the east coast we're closer to family I'm just in a good place I'm just happy and at 30 just isn't phasing me. We'll see how I feel Thursday. I'll let you know next week if I panic on Thursday, sit in the corner and cry. I don't know. We'll see. We'll let you know. But I think Thursday I'm going to go down to Swansboro, North Carolina. That is where my other local yarn shop is, the Salty Sheep. So I think I'm going to go down there. It's my birthday. I can treat myself to some yarn, right? Right? Hopefully. So I'm going to do that and then probably hit Starbucks on the way back because there's one in Moorhead, which is close to there. And that's the closest one we have. And I miss Starbucks. They were everywhere in Yuma. We have none here. <laughs> none here in Havelock. So I'm going, yeah. Yarn shopping, Starbucks. Perfect birthday, I think. That'll be fun. But then the other birthday that we have coming up, my son, my oldest, turns 10 on Monday the 19th. 10. He, oh, 10. I, I don't know where the time goes. Like I still think of my kids as my babies and they're 10 and 7. But yeah, so I don't know what we're going to do for his birthday. He doesn't seem to really want to go crazy. So we'll probably just do a low key. It's a Maybe we'll go to a movie on the weekend or something. We just moved here. So it's kind of hard to have a birthday party already when he, he's just now making friends and and all of that. So we'll probably just do Loki, just us and him. And I'll make a cake. I always make, make cakes for their birthdays. So, so that'll be fun. And we'll do some, open some presents and yeah, I don't know where the time goes, but, and I also, I'm going to finish Eric socks and the country song shawl. I'm going to really, really, I am I'm going to finish those. And I have another shawl and two pairs of socks I want to cast on before I podcast next. We'll see. I, <laughs> I may just come back with new cast-ons and those not be done, but I have to get them done, guys. Oh, I can't just cast on all the things. That basket's getting so full over there of projects. It's bad. I must reel it in, control it. So yeah, that's, that's what's going on. I'm excited to finally do this. I've wanted to do it for a little while, 
but there are so, so many amazing podcasts that I just think, how can my little corner of this knitting world compare to the amazing podcasts that are out there? But I just thought I would jump right in and finally do it. I've went back and forth for a few weeks and I've had some peer pressure. My friend Jenny and my oldest son are the main ones that have been like, do it. What are you waiting for? Just do it. So here I am and hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you'll hit subscribe and hopefully you will come back next week. Hopefully Monday. That was a lot of hopefullys. Monday of next week. So that would be the 19th. I'm hoping to record again then. May not get up. This one may not get uploaded till Tuesday. That one may not get uploaded till Tuesday. I'm hoping every week to do one. If I don't have anything to show, it'll probably be every other week. But, and I don't even think I said, you can find me as K Litton on Instagram and Ravelry, K Norris Litton on Facebook. And I'm most active on Instagram, definitely. I've been better about Ravelry, about updating my project page and all of that here within the past month or so, but I was bad about it before. So I'm trying to get better about that because it's such a great resource. But you can find me on those social media sites. And like I said, thank you so much for joining me. I, I hope you'll come back. It was fun. Bye guys.